Kelly. I'm your online campus director, and it's a joy for me to do this Daily Hope with you today. Um, just yesterday, I was online looking through news, and this big headline popped up, and I couldn't believe it. It said that 60% of adults 40 and under believe that there is more than one way to God. And that's called pluralism, the belief that it could be Jesus or it could be um, Buddhism or Islam, whatever your choice is, that there are multiple ways to God. And I was like, man, 60% of Christians, of self-professed Christians. And I was thinking, you know, you might as well believe any of them. They're all the same. They're all works-based. You got Buddhists who enlightenment is the practice and development of morality, meditation, and wisdom. You got Hindus who believe in karma, dependent on your previous life, your actions in your previous life. You got Islam, dependent on the five pillars, praying five times a day, giving money, fasting, pilgrimage to Mecca. And it's like, if I'm a person who doesn't know anything about religion and you lay them all out there, you might as well pick whichever one you want because they're all based on things that you do, right? And I don't even mind if I was a non-believer of anything, wouldn't mind a religion where, you know, you're based on merit. I can do that. I can do checklists. I can follow rules. You know, I like a to-do list. Like, give me any of those religions. I feel like I can do it. But you know what? Christianity is the only one that's different, right? Christianity is the only one that's not based on anything we do. It's not based on our belief in some deity or any of our works. It's only based on Jesus, right? And his death and his resurrection. And so I'm like, man, if you're looking at all these religions, these choices, there is one, right? There's one that's different. And it's the one that makes it easiest for me, uh, which is nice, right? But that's the only, the one true way. And so I wanted to read this Titus 3, 5. He saved us not by works of righteousness that we have done, but on the basis of his mercy through the washing and the new birth of the renewing of the Holy Spirit, whom He poured out on us in full measure through Jesus Christ, our Savior. And it was so great. I love taking communion with you guys on Sunday. We just think about all these differences we have, but that communion is the one thing that brings us together. So I love that anytime there's communion. So I hope you guys uh, will go back and watch that service and partake of that with us if you didn't have a chance to. But I just wanted to remind you guys that we live in this world that believes in all these things, but we need to stick to Jesus. He's the one and only way. All right, would you pray with me? God, we come to you today and we thank you that we have the privilege of talking about you and reading the word and, and just worshiping you in any way that we want to. And I pray that you would help us remember we have all these choices and it's so easy to go to the right or the left and pick and choose what sounds good to us. But I pray that you would help us remain focused on the one true God, the one true way um, to get to you and that's through the blood of Jesus. And so we thank you for that gift. We never want to forget how precious it is. And so we thank you for your son, Jesus, and pray that we would always remember to keep our eyes focused on him. In your name, amen. All right, New Hope, we'll see you tomorrow.